Hi, this is John Klesnick with Bonnet Pro. I want to give you some detailed instructions on how to get the most from using surround waste away. When I respond to a urine remediation job, I'll split it up usually into two visits. This is not for a puppy piddle or something small. This is for a more serious urine contamination. So when I initially go out and the customer shows me where they think the areas are, I'll use a, a quality black light. We sell these at bonnetpro.com, uh, but you may already have one. But regardless, if you look, this is, if you see how bright the lights are there, this is daytime bright. And what happens is, and this isn't even charged, this is uh, just right out of the box. Um, urine has phosphorus in it. The long wave black light will make the phosphorus glow, and you can determine where the urine is. So that way you're not guessing or missing areas. That in and of itself helps you to get a more successful and complete job. Once you've determined where the spots are on the urine, if the urine spot on top is this big, it'll be this big underneath if you were to disengage the carpet and pull it back because the urine goes in and it spreads out, the liquid will spread out as it hits the uh, floor surface. So you have contaminated uh, carpet, padding, and subfloor. So when you use Waste Away, you want to use that undiluted and you want to put enough down on the carpet that it soaks through the carpet, soaks through the pad, and can sit on the subfloor. This does a few things. One, we need to touch any of the contaminated areas that the urine touched, and then we want to get enough down there so it stays wet. We want it to stay wet for up to a day and a half to two days maximum. Why? It's an enzyme. If it dries, it dies, and it becomes ineffective. So if you're taking an enzyme product like this, and just misting it on top of the carpet, it's not enough. It has to be wet out just like it originally was with the urine and it has to stay wet so the bacteria can produce enzymes and the bacteria and the enzymes can do their work and break down this contamination so it can be flushed out. So we'll start with a price at about $150. That's for the service call, for the black light inspection, and for up to a gallon of the waste away. If anything more than that, then we charge, we upcharge accordingly. Um, depending on how big the job is and how much product is used. I'll let the customer know we'll be back in two days. Then when you come back, you, you can decide how effective this was on its own, how much cleaning you need to do, or do I need to disengage and replace padding or tackless strip because it's rotted, because it's been used as a toilet for years. So you'll have to determine that as the tech. But when you give this product enough time to do its job, it's very successful. So you'll come back, you'll wash the carpet, you can rinse it with radical rinse, uh, and then at that point, after you've done your final rinse, you can decide, do I smell any urine? Is there any light urine left? Is there no urine odor left? If there's no odor, it's complete, because as it dries, it's, it's going to be smell even better at that point. So if it's not, if there's no urine odor while it's wet after you wash it, it'll be fine when it dries. If there is a slight urine odor, you have to determine, did I miss a spot? Do I need to do a topical with uh, something like Surround Profresh? Um, you know, what in the job caused it to fail? Um, so that'll be something you'll need to decide. But in most cases, if you do what I'm suggesting, you'll, you'll, have, a, you'll have great results. The Waste Away can be successful uh, on light stain removal. If the stains have not come out, you're going to want to use Revive It Rocket. It has the maximum amount of peroxide that you can use uh, without hazardous shipping. And the peroxide will bleach out uh, the remainder, if any, of the urine stains. You can use this process on carpet, you can use it on furniture, and you can use it on uh, mattresses successfully. With furniture, just be careful um, with the fabrics and uh, that there's no bleeding, but chances are it's already ruined, so you're just trying to salvage it at that point anyway. So if you have any questions, give me a call at 877-477-1615. Come to Encapsulation World on Facebook and ask your question there, or email me at info at bonnetpro.com. Thanks for watching.